This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, the Game Boy Geek here. Today it's all about pies. Everybody loves pies, right? Apple pie, cherry pie, custard pie. What's your favorite pie? Today, since it's all about pies, it's also all about whipped cream. But instead of indulging like we normally do in pies, today we're trying to avoid them. We're talking about Pie Face. This is a game, it is a mass market sort of uh, party game for two or more players. It is the number one seller on Amazon right now. Uh, it is very interesting. Let me show you how it's played in real time and I'll see you on the other side. Now here is Pie Face set up. There's a few things you gotta put together once you take it out of the box each time. Um, so basically you've got the hand, you've got the, the little things that you're gonna spin, you've got where you stick your face, a chin rest, all that kind of gets put on every time. There's also a little, uh, basically a, a spin dial here. Now on your turn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spin, spin this here. And it's gonna tell you how many times you have to click those handles. If you do click three times without getting Pie Face, you get double these points, so you get six points. First one at 25 points wins. Now, if you score something like this, so you spin a five, and you're, you're afraid, you don't want to go all the way to five. Of course, if you do get all the way to five without getting Pie Face, you're getting double the points or 10. But if you don't wanna do that, you can just say before you start doing it, how many times you want to click them. Let's say I only wanna click two. And if I go two times without having getting Pie Face, I get two points, not the double. So you basically mention how many times you wanna go and get those points or go the amount that's there and get double those points. First one in 25 wins. Let's check it out in action. One, two, three, four. Five. He yeah. ten points. He got ten. Okay, oh, Alex it. just spun a two. You gonna go for the? You gonna go for the full thing? I'm gonna go for the two. All right. Ready? One, two. Oh, he just got four points. Damn. Three. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna go for the three. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Oh. Turn it quick. There we go. He's Ready? going for five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what we want, right? That's the best one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Two, three. Woo! Three. I'm doing it. All right, there's Pie Face. Now, as you can see, it's pretty funny, right? Did you get some laughs while you watched us getting whipped cream in our face? Now, I, I might not even call this thing a game. It's really just an activity, but it's full of laughs. I mean, yes, you're spinning the spinner and that tells you whether how far you're gonna press your luck or not. But in the end, nobody really cares, you know, what the points are, who wins. Everyone just wants to see everybody get Pie Faced at least once and then everyone kind of puts it away. Uh, now, the game itself, I mean, obviously it's just simple, right? Now. The big thing of this is the laughing, and that's really what it's about. It's about just giggling and laughing and watch people get messed up. Now, that part of it is fun. It does make a lot of mess. Uh, there will be whipped cream everywhere. Uh, you gotta clean that thing off every time you play it. 
So it is like, it, it's it's one of those things where you would only probably bring out on like special occasions. I could see bringing this thing out like once a year at a big party and having everybody laugh their butts off or bringing it to parties once in a while or throughout the year. But it's not something that you're gonna pull out all the time because A, it makes a mess. And B, after a while it kind of gets old, right? It's, it's fun the first few times. Uh, and when you get new people doing it, like maybe you have some older grandparents or something and nothing's funnier than watching like an older person get a pie face in there. Now playing with this, we, we experimented with a lot of different ways that you could see when we first started getting pie face, sometimes it was just a little bit because we were putting the whipped cream right on the hand itself. But we, we tried a lot of different things and what ended up working the best actually was putting that coffee filter just over it because it, it really catapults it right into your face the best. So I, I recommend putting a coffee filter over there. So if you're looking for something just silly and stupid that is just gonna grab a lot of laughs out of you, maybe around the holidays uh, or, or you know throughout the year, it's definitely something to check out. Uh, it's not something that I would think you'll pull out often, but when you do, you'll probably get some laughs. Is that worth the 20-something bucks? Yeah, probably. It's good to have in a collection just for that weird one-off psycho game that everybody just wants to pull out once in a while. So that's Pie Face. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.